Hi, it's Thermal Blooder, and today, guys, we have a new patch in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Patch 1.1 has released. So, patches will be coming out every two weeks in Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, if you don't know. But now we're going to start talking about what is in this patch. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is we have a new blast map um crate so now we can play blast on crate so um i'm also expecting um some other maps too to come f on crate so yeah um but the next thing is we have now iden versus tie fighters so that is really amazing that um but yeah, we have a new hero now. Um, uh, ship hero, Iden Versio. Um, so we have our Tie Fighter now. Now the next thing is Finn has been nerfed, so his EL16 now deals 45 damage instead of 65. They lowered the Dead Eye damage to 30 from 40. Phasma has also been buffed. A Lando Star card has been fixed that I guess was glitching around and would not work. Now the Wookiee Warrior is nerfed. The Specialist reduced size of scoping glint. But they added scope glint to the EL60, HFE, the A280, the Pulse Rifle, and the F-11D Captain Phasma's Blaster. Also reduced heat to several blasters. They've lowered the heaviest area of effect for supercharged sentry and increased heat per shot for supercharged sentry from 0 0.015 to 0 0.017. It's not something way too major there. Reduced explosion damage when turret is blown up by blaster fire from 150 to 25. So now when the officer places a turret and it gets blown up by blaster fire, it won't explode super big. Um, but it says blaster fire. I hope that means just explodes overall. If not, I am going to be very disappointed. Um, cause it does seem to be a little bit big, um, when it, d like when you self do it. So I, uh, really don't like it cause I've gotten killed so many times now with it. Um, and I'm very glad that it is a lot smaller now. So now we, are, next thing that we have on the list is something very sad and disappointing in my opinion. The CR2 has been nerfed. So the start damage for the CR2 has been nerfed um, to 17. No. The CR2 has been nerfed. So the start damage for the CR2 um, has gone down from 17 to 16. And they also lowered the end damage from 9 to 8. Also reduced damage fall off from 40 to 30 meters. Now, this one is actually really good too, in my opinion. The And this one is really good, in my opinion. The barrage explosion damage increased from 55 to 100. The Blurg has majorly been nerfed, um, and I know that that will be disappointing to some of my subscribers, and I honestly have never um, even played with it yet, so, and I am very close to getting it just about 20 kills away, so, um, I am disappointed that I didn't get to play with it then, but, yeah, so, basically, the first thing that we're going to talk about is that they reduced the fall off start distance to 50 meters from 20. 
they reduced the outer blast radius of explosive shot from 2 to 1.8 meters. So not too big there, but they've also reduced the inner blast radius of the explosive shot from 0 0.8 to 0 0.7 meters. They reduced end damage of explosive shot from 10 to 8. They've reduced accuracy of final shots when burst mo mod is equipped. They also um, reduced the start damage of explosive shot from 29 to 26. So the Blurg has gone a major nerf and it seems like it was super OP. So it may have actually needed that. I honestly don't know because I've never used it. So, some new info now. You can now place two, yes, you heard me right, two trip mines at once. Um, so, but also now the trip mine disappears 15 seconds after death before it was five seconds. So, I actually feel like I might go back to using it. Um, because it that is a lot better now because. The trip mine wasn't that good before, and honestly, was kind of useless in my opinion, because it disappeared in five seconds after you died, and um, only be on being able to place one um, wouldn't really do much because the person usually could just go around it another way. So I honestly feel like having two will really help actually now because. You can probably really lock down places, and in game modes such as Galactic Assault, if you need to get an Ion Cannon, you can block off maybe ways around it, But and maybe in Blast you can um, sort of sit in a corner and snipe and make sure that nobody can come up behind you and stuff, so I really feel like that that is really cool and good. So, some more news is Milestones will now pop up in the game. So if you unlock Milestone while you're playing, it will pop up during the game. Now also, there is a new map in Star Wars Battlefront 2, Night Tatooine. So this is really pretty amazing in my opinion. Um, but I feel like I will really like this map most likely. Um, but yeah, so now we do have Tatooine at night. So also some very, very bad news in my opinion, because all of you, at least by this point, most likely know that I love Boba Fett and he is my favorite hero in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, but he has sadly now been nerfed so the first thing is that they have lowered the damage of his rocket barrage from 90 to 78 damage so in my opinion I feel like that is a little bit too much I admit 90 is a lot and can really kill a hero pretty well but I definitely feel like 78 now will be a little bit low and I feel like if anything just lowering it to 96 would have been better um, Cuz Boba Fett is a unique hero cuz his blaster doesn't really do much So you have to mostly rely on his star cards to fight so I don't know if I'm still going to be trying to max him out or not um, I might and I might not I don't know just yet now, but yes, yeah, so also, they've reduced the inner damage radius for each rocket barrage to 1.5 meters from 2. And they've also reduced the outer damage radius of each rocket from rocket barrage from 4 to 30 meters. So, I personally completely hate this. And, um... I really hope that this gets changed because Boba Fett was such a unique character because really his abilities were the only things that 
he can really get kills with. So I hope that they fix this and change it back. If they don't, I will of course be very disappointed and he won't be as good now. He probably won't be um that big hero anymore, um big hero killer and stuff cuz he is he used to be um really good. And I really like how he was, but now I am going to assume more heroes can easily kill him um, because he isn't as strong anymore. Because, uh, right, um, if you guys see my streams and stuff, Boba Fett's main weakness is, well, Ray and Yoda. So now I'm assuming maybe Luke will also be there and maybe some others too so i personally hate this and i feel like that this sh should definitely be undone um a slight nerf i can see but not this major um because i definitely feel like 78 is way too much um i mean way too little sorry um but i feel like 90 yes was a little much but I don't feel like 78 will be nearly as capable of doing anything like it was. And especially now you need to hit a lot more rockets too. So I am of course very disappointed with this. But yeah, so, so we also have lots more stuff that has changed too. So I'm just doing a little bit because this is probably only... A little over half the stuff that has changed so there's a lot more that has been changed so yeah but you will probably be able to figure out most of the others too um because and the others aren't that big I just covered the more major stuff here um they fixed glitches now of course I'm going to now be going out there and checking all the glitches that I have found and trying to make sure that they haven't fixed those. And if they do, I will, of course, be very disappointed. So, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below what you think about these changes. Um, I personally am really upset that they even changed a single thing about the CR2. Now, I played a game um, with the CR2, actually, and that's the gameplay you've been watching, and I feel like I can actually tell the difference, but not way too much. I feel like it doesn't... I can really tell um, that my... I, I don't know. I feel like it's going to change my playstyle a little bit, and I might switch to a different blaster now. Um, and no longer just use the CR2. So, hopefully they will tweak it a little bit more again. And um, maybe buff it up. But the Blurg, I really hope, hasn't been over-nerfed. Because it has been nerfed a lot. And it nerfed a lot of things. But, there, yes. Yeah, so, thanks for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below what you think about this, and I will be seeing you tomorrow.